But even the right attitude has a sort of prerequisite, and that is strength. Okay, and what kind of what do you mean when you say strength? Um, physical strength. Okay, and also willpower. I think. Okay, so physical strength and willpower are necessary um, before you develop the the right attitude. I mean, yeah, actually, okay. because I did not have the right attitude for about three months into my physical training. Here. Yeah, I did what I had to do. Mostly because you were dragging me along, kicking and screaming. Yeah. Uh, but the right attitude developed after, you know, pushing through this stuff. And it did require willpower on my part to actually push through things I didn't want to push through. So you had to make those individual decisions um, towards strength. Strength is a choice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. So, yeah, you have to choose strength every day in your individual actions in order to, you know, actually acquire the skills and abilities in life that you want to have. Um, and as a matter of fact, you have to choose strength in your moral decisions too if you're going to be the kind of person that you want to be. Uh, strength is the virtue by which all other virtues exist. So whether or not that means in like a enter the dragon kind of way um, that, you know, if you're not strong, then a... a, a strong evil man will come along and take everything that you have and kill you. I mean, that that's very true. If you don't have strength, then that could very easily happen. But in the same way, if you don't have strength on the inside, uh, you will not have the kind of life that you want to live. You won't have the physical abilities necessary to do to take care of the things in your life. You will not have the mental capabilities to, you know, run through all the stuff that you're, that you need to do in your job or with or anything that you're doing to make money. Um, if you don't have emotional strength, you will not have the ability to manage your relationships. And if you don't have moral strength, you're going to end up becoming a terrible human being and that's going to end up affecting the rest of society. So literally everything about, um, you know, being better hinges on the idea of strength. Yes. Strength is a prerequisite for pretty much everything. Uh, if you have the willpower and the desire to see something happen, but you don't have the strength to actually put it into action, then what good is your good intentions? What good are your good intentions? And if you have strength uh, of body but not of mind, then that strength is going to probably go towards some not-so-good stuff. So leveling up really requires a heavy emphasis on building a good, strong foundation. Yes, that was a pun. It probably was not a good one, though. That's okay. And that foundation has to be... Literally in every area of your life, because if it is not in every area of your life, you will have holes in your ship and you will sink. Because if you have an issue with your physical health, it will affect your mental health and your emotional health and your finances. If you have an issue with your mental health, it will affect your physical health and your emotional health mm -hmm. and your finances. If you have an issue in your emotional health with your relationships, I guarantee it's going to affect everything else. Everything else will fall apart. Everything else will fall apart. And... If you have issues with your finances, it's real hard to go to the, you know, to work out and, and do all kinds of other stuff if you don't have a place to live or food. Um, and it's also probably not good for your mental health if you uh, have, you know, mountains of debt because you're spending more than you're making. Yeah, if you're if you're worrying constantly about what you're going to do about a problem that you're just that you created, well, then every other area of your life will suffer for that because you won't be able to put 100% of yourself into those other areas. You can't take any one of these things and completely ignore the rest of them because, honestly, they're all kind of related. Mm -hmm. They're all about you as a person and the whole package of your development. 